going on everyone? This is Clayton Youngberg from AndroidAuthority.com. Today we're going to be doing a review of the brand new Photosphere option that comes with the camera in Android 4.2. I actually installed this camera simply in APK. As you can see we do have our front facing camera activated right now so we're going to go ahead and switch her back. But anyways I did install the APK. You have to be rooted and you flash it just like a ROM. It's a flashable zip. Use Clockwork Mod uh, Recovery or uh, any custom recovery that you want. And you simply install the APK. Or you can just uh, install the APK if you have a Galaxy Nexus. So anyways, this is the brand new UI that comes with the uh, Android 4.2 camera. As you can see here, we have a completely revamped uh, user interface. It's not really too much um, along the lines of the hollow design that they were going with the ice cream sandwich camera and that they retained in the early builds of Jelly Bean. So anyways, when we're talking about the UI of this brand new camera, we can go ahead and check out our settings menu, which is this circle now. Go ahead and press the circle. We have access to our flash, our white balance, um, our scene modes, and then our front facing and rear facing camera configuration. This is our slider setting here where we can access our scene modes, uh, but we'll go ahead and go back, check out our front facing really quick. Of course, I'm rocking the Samsung Galaxy S3. What's up, everyone? Go ahead and switch it back. I do have the Verizon version, by the way. So let's try out a Photosphere. Once we're in the camera just like this, we can click the camera icon and then simply click the Photosphere icon. We can also click Panorama or Video. But we'll go ahead and click the Photosphere. Now, as you can see, the user interface of the Photosphere starts off with just one image, but we're going to be overlaying the images onto a complete 360 uh, sphere, so we actually get the 360 degree panorama. Now, what it wants us to do is align to start, so we're going to go ahead and tilt our phone up until we tap that little blue ball. You can stop at any time as well. We can also move the camera to the side in order to capture an image to the left. We can do the same to capture an image to the right, top, the diagonal, going down any direction you want. Actually got my hand in there, so that's kind of going to ruin that image. But we'll go ahead and continue up here. And we can basically capture anywhere we want, 360 degrees. We could turn it all the way around if we wanted to, to where it's actually pointing behind us. Um, and we get notifications like too fast if we're going too fast. Other stuff to warn us if we're not going to get a good image. Uh, but basically you can track the creation of the 360 degree panorama as you're creating it, just because you have it right here on your screen really great you can click the back if you don't want to continue the photo or the physical back button if you have one and you can click stop and it'll actually render the photo now when it's rendering the photo you'll have a nice notification up here that it says uh creating panorama and to view your images of course we're going to want to go into our gallery to our camera here and here's our image i didn't get an overly huge one but i did get a few of the others as you can see we can pinch in scroll to this one a few other nice images. I'm going to go ahead and do one off camera just because it's a little easier. Uh, I won't be able to show you guys the entire 360 degree view, but I'll do one off camera ever so quickly and then come back and show you guys. Alright everyone, this is the complete 360 degree image that I actually took right here. And zoom in. This is in all four directions. North, south, east, and west people. Complete 360 degrees. This is behind me actually, and then we can go over to the left. It merges it in a nice panoramic view. It, it's taking the 360 degrees and just completely putting it on one plane for viewing. There's my baby. Got my truck parked right here, doing the filming. And we can scroll through. Oh, whoops, I actually went farther in my gallery. But we can go ahead and scroll through, and this edge right here is actually uh, met up by this one. 360 degrees. It's a really awesome feature Google baked into its camera. Plenty of other awesome features coming with Android 4.2. Of course, we got uh, coverage for all the different phones that are available, including the Samsung Galaxy S3. Check out the uh, APK for the brand new camera if you've got a Google Nexus. And uh, stay subscribed to AndroidAuthority.com, guys. This is Clayton Youngberg.